Hello guys and welcome to 2x4 Brick. Today we're taking a look at the LEGO City set number 60064 Arctic Supply Plane. This comes with uh, 374 pieces and uh, it costs about 49.99, which gives us about 13 cents per brick. This is the first LEGO set that I'm building for YouTube and uh, if it turns out good I will be making some more, so be sure to subscribe. Let's start off with the box, which is 48 centimeters long, 28 wide and 6 centimeters high. That's uh, 19 by 11 by 2 inches. As you can see from the graphics on the front of the box, the set is made out of 3 minifigs, a pilot and 2 arctic explorers, a track utility vehicle with a trailer and the cargo plane itself. You also get a block of ice with a crystal inside and a box with yet another crystal. The box fits nicely in the plane's cargo area, but more on that later. Now on the back of the box you see a bunch of graphics once again and also how the set is split up into 5 numbered bags. Bag number 1 is used to build the track vehicle, number 2 is used to build the, the trailer, number 3, 4 and 5 will uh, get you the uh, aircraft itself. Inside the box I found 3 booklets without any cardboard protection. The first one has uh, 50 pages and it shows you how to build the track vehicle plus uh, the trailer while the other two with 23 and uh, 74 pages help you build the aircraft itself. Here you have them. Inside of the box you also get a sheet of stickers which I will not be applying. Let's build it.
now that this is built, let's go ahead and take a look um, at it. We start off with uh, the three things that come with the set. The first one is the cargo plane pilot. It uh, comes with its own uh, helmet and uh, it only has uh, one uh, fist. The other two are a female and a male arctic explorers. They both uh, come with uh, only one face and there is also a chainsaw that they can use to crack open this uh, block of ice to get uh, to the crystal inside. Once uh, they got the crystal, they will uh, place it in this uh, box next to the other one and they will be shipped off. Okay, let's move on to the utility vehicle. This comes with some very nice features. It has rubber tracks, a snowplow on the front, it has plenty of lights, two hooks where you can attach some tools, and two opening compartments where you can uh, have some other tools. There's a nice speaker in this, and then on the other side, there's a coffee mug. The cabin opens up like this, which I find very interesting. There's room for uh, one driver, which will drive the vehicle using the two joysticks in there. At the back of the vehicle you can attach this trailer and uh, unlike the vehicle itself, this one has uh, skis instead of uh, tracks. It carries around uh, the supplies which are uh, two boxes, an oil drum and a gas tank. Moving on to the cargo plane, I must say that I was uh, quite impressed with how big uh, it actually is. It uses two propeller engines and uh, has uh, skis for taking off and landing which move like that. As you can uh, see over here. At the back of it you have uh, the cargo area which uh, can be accessed in two different ways as I'll show you. You can either open this up and there's the supply box in there. Here it is. Or there's this uh, door that you can open to access the loading area. Inside the aircraft you get this printed brick that has the dials on it, but there are no controls for the plane. You also uh, have two seats for uh, two passengers in there, and then at the bottom there's some uh, empty space. This is what I was left off with after the build. To wrap this up, the only two things that I don't like 100% are the fact that you need to apply some pressure to the utility vehicle in order for its uh, tracks to move, and uh, if you ask me, the aircraft's cabin could have been made to open up, just like the one from the utility vehicle, instead of you having to take it off like that. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, share and subscribe.